Asina agreeing to buy Ann, the home of Ann Taylor in Loft, 47 a share. And a deal valued at more than $2.1 billion. Shares popping on that news. We've got some huge retail news today when we learned that Asina, the parent company of Dressborn, Justice, Maurice's, Catherine's, and Lane Bryant, is buying Ann, A-N-N. Yes, the owner of Ann Taylor and Law for $2.16 billion in cash and stock. Now, Asina's got a long history of making very smart acquisitions. I have to wonder if this purchase, which combines the third and ninth largest specialty retailers in the country, could be another bountiful deal. We know the transaction is expected to produce $150 million in annual cost, in cost synergies within three years. And the company also says it'll be significantly additive to earnings within the first year after the deal closes. So should we be a buyer some a senior? Let's check in with David Jaffe, the president and CEO of a senior retail group, find out more about this acquisition, which I believe is very transformative. Mr. Jaffe, welcome back to Mad Money. Good to see you, sir. Thanks, Jim. Great how to are be you? back. Appreciate you having me. $150 million. So we know we don't know necessarily how many people are going to get in the store because we know the shopping's spotty. We saw Urban Outfitters tonight not doing that good. But we can control what? We control costs? Yeah, what we're doing with the synergies, Jim, is, is leveraging off that huge infrastructure that we've been investing in over the last couple of years. It's really well established. It's running smoothly. We're getting the savings with our other brands that we anticipated. So now we can kind of plug and play the two new uh, and brands right into it. And that's what we we're doing, and that's how we have identified the $150 million in savings that we think will kind of layer in over the next three years. Well, let me understand this, Dave. So let's say that something's made at Intel. You will have the same, you will have manufacturers that you're already using that can make this. Where is the synergy in terms of the actual manufacturer? Well, let's say that you go to a vendor, a uh, manufacturer, and you say, I'd like 1,000 T-shirts. And they say, okay, here's your price. Now you go back to them and say, I'd like 2,000. You're going to get a better deal. So the same thing with transportation. We, when we send our, our product out to the stores, we do it out of one DC. Mm -hmm. So we have all that volume. So instead of sending seven different trucks from seven different DCs, we've got it centralized. So we save money because we're operating more efficiently, and we've got all the DCs in one place now. OK, so uh, you've got the distribution covered, manufacturing. now. This brings you what I like is that there's a whole new group of people who have may have never been to an Asina store, but right. Ann Taylor and Loft have a different customer base. No exactly. overlap, right? We don't think there's really any overlap. Clearly, our, our justice store is for, for tween girls. Um, uh, Lane Bryant and Catherine's are for large size women, which um, Ann does not sell. Right. So uh, there's a little bit at Dress Barn and maybe a tiny bit at uh, Kath, I'm sorry, at Maurice's right. with the Loft customer, but very, very small amount that we've seen in our research. And Loft is uh, what the most, it's the 18 to 60. So that's something that's different for you guys to have that long arc. Fashion for every woman. Right. It's a wonderful store. Now, how's business in general? I ask that because apparel's become really hard. In the time that you yeah. and I have gotten to know each other, I cannot believe how hard the apparel business is. Yeah, you know what's happened, Jim? There's been a lot of shifting of spending either to durables or yes. to, to things. Yes, Home Depot, to Home Depot. Home Depot, uh, home furnishings. People right. want to redo their living room or their kitchen. Uh, a lot of it has been on things like uh, smart watches or, or smartphones. Right. Uh, some experiential, you know, some of the restaurants and uh, 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 theme parks have done well over the last couple of years. But we're beginning to see a few green shoots. So we're watching it really carefully. But we think the consumer now is starting to swing back into fashion. So when we've got great fashion at any of our brands, it's the fashion that's selling. It's not the basics. Okay. The woman wants fashion. And if we do a good job, if our industry does a good job, I think she'll come back. Now, on Ann Taylor specifically, uh, Ann Taylor, it's an iconic brand, but it also has a lot of stores. Maybe it doesn't need all the stores. Will you look at store by store and do something that maybe the other old management can't do? Say, listen, these 25 stores just aren't doing well enough. We're going to have to close them. You know, I think management's aligned with the need to get rid of the bad stores, yes. reinvest in new opportunities. So we've, we've talked about that. We've talked about what should be closed, not specifically, but that we want to invest in the future uh, and not just kind of go sideways on stores that are, aren't really going to go Go ahead. Well, I, I think it's major for you because this is a brand that, you know, that is universally loved. I yes. mean, some would say yes. it's tired. I just think it's ready. It's yeah. ready for some change. Oh, it's but, iconic. Both yes, of them. Absolutely. Okay, that's David Jaffe, the president and CEO of a, of a senior retail group. Take a look. This stock is all the way down. I don't think that makes sense given the driver that just have and the cost that can be taken out. The synergies are huge for this company. They have money's back after the break. Booyah!
Ah, Jim Cramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.